I better get my mic uncovered. I'm uh, just finished with dishes. I'm done with breakfast and uh, I need to get going. I need to start packing. So thought I'd bring you along, show you what things look like in the morning here. And uh, it is Friday, January 13th, 10.37 a.m. And uh, that's our current temperature. 14, 62 in the camper, and then high low. There's low, got down to 10 last night, 40 in this side of the camper. And then the high yesterday was, uh, well, outside 15, inside 63. And uh, get back to the beginning. So 10 outside in Celsius, you got uh, that's your uh, temperature inside, that's the low last night, and that's the high yesterday. So, yeah, it was uh, a bit colder than the night before, which uh, isn't unexpected this time of the year. And uh, the news is that uh, I got zero kilowatts coming out of my car, and I got it 27 uh, state of charge 27% and uh, the deal is that I uh, I went to town yesterday I was going to charge at home <clears throat> and I got a call from my electrician and he said he's ready to install a new charger I jumped up to a 48 amp charger and uh, he got it installed and then I thought well I got three hours to charge you know, with the 48, 48 out or uh, 48 amp charger, you know. So, but it wouldn't connect, and uh, turns out it was uh, a dead charger or whatever, and they are sending me a new one. So, I have no charger at my house except uh, 120 volt, which I'm gonna get back to town, and I'm just gonna go across the river and DC fast charge. And then uh, I can probably make it out here with uh, one more load needed to haul the town of my stuff. I'm uh, breaking camp, but uh, it's been great out here. And uh, last night I, uh, I shut off the car before I went to bed, the electricity from the car, and I heated up the camper with uh, propane heat I was still drawing electricity for the uh, the fan on the furnace and, and lights, but uh, and then before I went to bed, I just uh, shut it off completely. Or no, no, I uh, I ran it like that all night, connected to the to the camper, but I didn't use uh, I didn't use power from the the battery to to heat. I would shut off my space heaters and just let the camper heat. And it was kind of nice because it did get fairly cold and I could see what it's like uh, without electric heat in here. And it's adequate, but the furnace is running all the time and it, it uses electricity too. And uh, it never did heat up as good as electric heat. And uh, so uh, I'll get some electricity, come back out. And right now I'm, this morning I, I unplugged the car completely and I'm running on my generator so I'll bring you outside show you around I got a new setup for my tarp tarp over the car if I can get this set here turn you around try not to all right I'm gonna move this just move this over here Should be fine, yeah. And uh, I made it so that I can use that tarp as kind of like a, a garage, you know, pull out from underneath it with my car and then uh, pull back in when I get back. So I'll show you how I did that. It worked out pretty well. I'll shut my phone off. So, uh, Grab one little swig of coffee. That's about all I got left. 
<clears throat> I've been trying literally for two days to get out of here. <laughs> and it's one thing after another. Causes me to need to stay for one more day. But uh, this is it. I got to go home. <laughs> Work there is piling up too. Little things, you know. Well, let's go out and I'll show you around. And maybe I'll take you along when I tear the tarp down, take it down and pack it away. And maybe I'll uh, shut that heat down a little bit. Might be running low on propane too, so. <laughs> I gotta plan better. <sighs> so it's uh, just lightly snowing and it, snowed lightly last, last night and this is what we ended up with there's my uh, Honda generator works pretty good I'll show you so these two uh, Two outside poles, pretty nice. They bring up the tarp quite a bit. I, I had them lower yesterday for perhaps, you know, better drainage if it was raining, but up high is decent for uh, access and a little bit of snow doesn't hurt anything. So all, all I have to do basically is take these, uh, take this, this stake, this pole down and just get the ropes out of the way and uh, take it off of the, or throw it onto the tarp so that it's out of the way and then raise the outside ones up. And uh, I can drive right out. Tarp uh, sits there and maintains. Or you can, uh, what I did when I went to town is I just, uh, I attached uh, this front string to these two strings without the pole and then I tightened it up so that it it pulled down the tarp and then I lowered the the outside ones that really wasn't necessary but uh, I didn't know if it was going to get windy or not so but uh, it's a beautiful day no wind that's the best thing yesterday we had a little bit of wind I think this cold front coming in cause it was bringing some wind with it so I think the plan is to I might as well pull the car out of there and then wrap up the tent. I don't need to. Maybe I'll skip that so you know I'm so low on battery. I'll give you a quick look at uh, the back end of the... Let me drop this a little bit lower and then... Whoa! <laughs> Did I get snow on the lens? No. That's about the lightest snow you'll ever see. See, and like right here, if I had one more pole, I could push this up and it would help a lot. And two poles wouldn't even be a bad deal either. So I'm thinking about buying another pack of poles. And then I've got my uh, hatchback set to uh, to stop at the right right height. So that's perfect. Got nice smooth edges up here. So in in this where as it is right now, you don't need a pole here. The the hatchback holds the tarp up so so but I'd still like to get uh, some more poles. Nice and solid here. Uh, it'd be nice to test this with the heavier snow or uh, rain, but I think it'll work out pretty good. Well, let's see. I'll show you down around just a little bit more and then I'll get prepared to, uh, to start taking stuff down. And I'll start a new video on that. I tell you what, I don't miss that. 
When I first started camping out here, it was a sweet noise, but because uh, electricity is good. But I've uh, I've graduated to electricity from a car. Let me open this up and uh, I don't know. This thing always wants to fight me. All right, there we go. Yeah, electricity from a car is. Uh, much better, nice and quiet and strong. This I can, I can increase the amperage, you know, but the engine races. This is like a eco idle right here, and boy, if that thing uh, goes into full, full bore, trying to provide electricity, it's just racing. So that's a negative thing about a generator too is. For the big draw items, it makes